How would you recommend a UA team to get started on SDK networks if they are not already spending on them? And what can you expect from adding this to your marketing activities, including results and expectations from the initial few months? Earlier in my career, I might have rolled my eyes upon hearing this response, but I think now I know when they say don't expect instant results, it, it, is, it is true, especially if you never run on them before. It, it, it takes time to acquire learnings. It takes time to getting used to sort of the cadence of the working relationship. I mean, is it is it a self-serve platform or is it managed? Uh, there's uh, benefits and limitations to sort of both of them. And I think it's uh, something necessary to sort of uh, put into your calculus. Uh, but you can mitigate that by building relationships with your account managers, which I alluded to in an earlier question. Uh, they have valuable insights, so leverage them as much as possible and be really open to share your own internal KPIs. And because by and large, they also are incentivized to want you to come back and not just, you know, have one big send and then you never, and then burn that relationship. No, in, in my personal experience, that's, that's sort of never, never the, the case. Uh, and I think something also important is to be prepared to spend the necessary time and budget uh, to sort of uh, prove whether this network is uh, viable or not. Don't expect a hundred insults to be indicative of, of anything. Just that said, sort of make sure that both sides are clear on sort of expectations. And, you know, I've, I've heard this thrown around a lot. Oh, we only need 10K to spend on this. You know, but you know, that's, that's, that's a whole lot of bunk. I think to, it's important to have a necessary conversation, ask them, hey, these are the stats that we see. These are our CPIs from blah, 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 other networks. Uh, that we got here is um, the row ass they were expecting whatever. How many purchasers or how many incels do we actually need? And then that calculate off of that based upon their estimations. And then you have at least a good idea of what it takes to sort of actually test this thing out. Um, yeah, and once 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 uh, that's sort of done and things are running, and even if all the major steps were kind of attempted, uh, I think, I really believe, a great uh, account manager would be someone willing to tell you that this is something that's probably not going to work or is going to need, you know, additional whatever. Someone who keeps trying to tell you to do like tiny, unimportant, unimportant, unimportant tweaks, you know, when the results are incredibly far off, is really not someone I, I would have a really, you know, great expectation that they are working to for our benefit compared to their benefit or the company's benefit, you know. Um, and, you know, that, that's something that takes uh, a bit of time to be able to build that kind of transparency and good relationship. But I think those are all kind of like important sort of indicators. And yeah, I, I, I think that's 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 what's sort of most important. First points, at least getting into SDK. Network.